when I was 21, when I was going to college. I was in a car accident. When you have a spinal cord injury, I find you stay in your left brain almost all the time. You're thinking about the physics of moving your body. I love to do the painting um, because it brings you back into the right side and kind of balances you out a little bit. I tried to do art before with my hands and it wasn't real detailed or accurate. And then I had the idea of maybe putting the brush in my mouth. Meditation. And uh, time flies by. And it's a, it's a fun thing and it clears my mind. I don't have to worry about things. Mostly I use three colors because it's kind of difficult for me to mix my paint. So I really focus on a minimal amount of paint and positive and negative space. I kind of like to keep it simple style, not take too long to do a painting. Kind of keeps it uh, easier on the, the neck muscles. Well, I'll tell you what, I have met a lot of amazing people in Web3 and the Web3 spaces, but uh, Matt's definitely at the top. And that's why I've asked Matt to join me today on the live video show. Matt, what a story, what a journey. It's been a pleasure uh, watching you paint, meeting you inside the metaverse in our different spaces that we've shared together and having you on today's show. It's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too, Mitch. Thanks for having me. You're very, very welcome. You are an amazing artist uh, creating art in a very unique way, but also leveraging the power of Web3 and, and leveraging the power of NFTs and the metaverse between virtual galleries, between doing physical shows that we talked about uh, mm -hmm. in your home state. It's just fascinating to me how you're combining all of the above. So why don't we start off with... Um, you know, we watched the video. And by the way, everybody, uh, this is Matt. Feel free to share this out, whether you're watching this on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, just hit the share button. If you have questions, they'll come into us. I'd be happy to share your questions or your comments with Matt. We are live. Matt, what, um, what got you interested in art? Have you always painted? Have you always been interested in putting, you know, a paintbrush to canvas? Or is this something you picked up later on in life? Um, I picked it up a little bit later on after my car accident, but I've always, before my car accident, I was always interested in uh, creating. Um, uh, I was very into photography. Uh, before the digital stuff, I had a, a dark room in my house, a uh, color dark room in, in high school, and I was doing 11 by 14 prints uh, and, you know, just creating. I used to love to draw and uh you know, the photography stuff was my main, my main purpose. Though. Photography. Okay. I love that. And so what, um, after your accident, obviously everything changed. Your life was turned upside down. When did you start experimenting with using, you know, your mouth to hold a paintbrush to create your art? Um, it wasn't, uh, like I, when I, when I go into Twitter spaces, I tell the story like, like this, I, I you know, when, when you first break your neck and you're in the rehab hospital for three to six months, they have, they have like little classes that you can take to try to encourage you to, to do the stuff that you used to do to continue doing it, even with your limit, uh, your limits. And they would, they put a, you know, like a brush. Well, first of all, I'll tell you, uh, I can move my shoulders and my biceps, uh, but I really have, I have no hand function. Okay. You can see my hands here. Um, but they would they would put a, a paintbrush in, in they would put it in your hand 
and then encourage you to move your shoulder back and forth like that. Uh, geez. That was a spasm, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. You know what? Why don't we do this? This is a good opportunity for me to share uh, one of your earlier galleries, if you don't mind, that I've been to. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, and uh, I have it listed as originals. But let's pop over into, I think I'm in the right place. Yes. Let's pop over <laughs> to uh, HendrickMedia.com. And uh, that's where you'll be able to find the video that I shared earlier, everyone, but also you'll see some of Matt's um, work. And one of these pieces, I think it was the second piece that you that you painted, Matt, uh, if I'm not mistaken, or the second NFT, I was lucky enough to have the opportunity to purchase, and it's part of my NFT collection. So I'm very proud to be an owner. Um, but let's go ahead and just kind of glance through. I know there's a story behind behind each each piece that you paint yeah uh, why don't you share why don't you share maybe you know just a couple of quick stories of what we're looking at on the screen oh yeah for sure you know, um, a lot of these uh i i was inspired by uh images on instagram that i would find and um i would uh, look for really good lighting you know uh um with some good shadows and some dramatic lighting is always good to, to try to reproduce. And then, um, you know, I would, uh, I would decide which one I'm going to paint for the, the day. And, um, you know, like in the video, I'll just, uh, I'll sit there and do it for eight to 10 hours. And, um, it's like I was saying in the, in the video, it's a, it's like a meditation, you know, it really calms me down, takes away all my anxiety and, uh, all the worries about, uh, what I'm going to do for caregivers and uh, any kind of stuff, daily stuff that I, I deal with. Um, but yeah, you know, if I can continue the the story, the uh, you know they they tried to get me to do the art with my hand in the rehab hospital, and it really it didn't look very good. Uh, it wasn't what I intended. It wasn't what I was used to. It was really sloppy, and I couldn't get the details. So I really I gave up for. Um, probably 20 years. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Wow. And then probably about five years ago, I saw, I saw somebody painting with their mouth on YouTube. And I'm, I was like, why did I, I've never thought about trying that, you know? Uh, I gave it a try and it was, it was accurate. It was what I intended uh, to do. And I was back, you know, I was like, wow. So I started just uh, creating these, uh, I was doing them once a week at first. Um, now I do a, maybe one a month. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, yeah. why did you, why, why did you slow down? Um, mostly, uh, just kind of getting a little bit older and my neck was getting a little, a little okay. painful. And as you saw earlier, when I put my arm out, I kind of seized up and had a spasm there. That's, that's part yeah. of the, the process of aging with the spinal cord injury. You, mm -hmm. you, you get some of those uh, difficulties, but. I think I think one of the highlights, uh, Matt, that Garrett, my son, and I enjoyed experiencing with you was we had set up in one of your spatial metaverse penthouse uh, venues your your artwork. You were getting ready for a uh, an outdoor showing uh, in Colorado where you live, and we uh, complemented that with a virtual art gallery in your penthouse uh, space. And I remember yeah. you mentioning about, you know, how cool it was to be able to walk through the space and share your art using yeah. your avatar, right? Yeah. And that really yeah. resonated with me. It kind of, you know, talk to us a little bit about that. What, how has the metaverse uh, changed things for you? Well, I, I like to say it, it completely levels the playing field, you know. I, yeah. um, I'm no longer disabled, really, in there. Uh, I'm using an avatar that's walking and standing and I'm able to talk to you guys just like um, in, in regular life. Um, and, you know, there's, there's art galleries in Denver and, you know, anywhere in the world, obviously, that they would have a step or some sort of barrier that would prevent me from even going in and talking to the, to the owners about getting a show or anything like that. And, and 
with the metaverse, it's just, you know, you're pushing buttons and you're in different places and teleporting around and the accessibility is amazing for me. It was so much fun uh, following your avatar as we literally walk on the outside balcony down three or four different pieces of your artwork. We then turned and went inside and you continued to talk and discuss, you know, the stories behind some of your pieces. And it just resonated with me, you know, how this new technology, I think if we give ourselves permission to try it, you know, you gave yourself permission to try to paint with holding a brush in your mouth. And you took uh -huh. that, you, you know, that first effort on your part led fast forward to where we are today. And one of the reasons I wanted to, uh, to share you with my community is this new project that you've got where you're taking what we've already talked about and you're adding AI or artificial intelligence into the whole process. And I got to tell you, Matt, the work that I'm seeing, the pieces that we're going to be sharing with everyone right now, I'm going to screen share the gallery. They're mind blowing. It's This is beautiful work. Talk to us as I uh, share this with our audience. What are we looking at? What is it that you're doing here with MetaMugs, the AI art gallery? This is just just amazing. Let me bring it up full screen so everyone can see. What are we looking at here? Yeah, these are um, these are AI um, versions of of my MetaMug uh, originals. So um, I teamed up with a an AI artist from Blue Imaginarium. Um, this is their website that you're looking at, and um, they they really present them well on here. I think, um, but. We, we discussed like what each, each of my oil paintings, uh, you know, what's the idea behind it? What's the emotion of the character? What's, uh, you know, what are they thinking? What, uh, what, you know, just the details. And then we, we put them, we were trying to create a, a cyber world, like a cyberpunk theme for each one. So we, we kind of discussed like, what might this one's job be? You know, is it a cyborg? Uh, what kind of goggles do they have? You know, we really went in in depth, and, and uh, he uses AI, and um, I think he uses Mid Journey to uh, to get these to come out like this. And that, this is unlike any AI I've seen personally. Yeah, that just how they're they look like real people. So I mean. They really do. So for for those who are watching us live or um, and sharing their comments, wow, amazing. Thank you, Patricia. I agree. It truly is amazing. What What's happening here is, I believe, and Matt, correct me if I'm wrong, but your, uh, your buddy is taking something that you've drawn, one of your portraits, for example, bringing it into the mid-journey AI art generation program. And then the two of you are using different text descriptions to help the AI develop something brand new while using your original piece of art as the foundation for the AI generated piece of art. Is that a fair assessment of what's going on here? That's exactly what's going on. That's, okay. And for those of you that haven't played around with the new AI art generation platforms and software, I'm using Mid Journey also to, to try to share emotions and feelings and memories that I've had during different moments in my life. And so you can use words and descriptive adjectives and verbs to help the AI generate that moment that you're, that you're thinking about. And what Matt and his partner are doing is they're adding Matt's artwork into the equation, which I haven't figured out how to do yet. So, so kudos to you, Matt. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> where do you see this going? Where do you see your art journey going moving forward now that you know what you know about Web3, NFTs, the metaverse, and AI? What can we expect in the future? Um, well, I, I continue to... Um, try to use a little AI myself, and I'm doing I'm doing more of a charcoal drawings now with some uh, some acrylic paint. So I'll do all that with my mouth, and then I, I'll take a picture of it with my phone, and 
put it into an AI. I, right now I'm using Wombo. Um, I find it, it kind of does some cool stuff for me. It's pretty simple. It's an app on your phone. It's not quite Discord and all that yet. I'm not real good with that yet, but I'm learning. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing more of those. Um, but with this collection, we, we would really like to, to get one of the spatial um, uh, galleries together. And, you know, I have an idea of displaying my art, my paintings in one gallery that's a little bit more classical maybe, uh, some classical music in the background. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a button off to the side with a picture, with a small, real small picture of the AI version of that. And you can tap that and go into the sister gallery where the, um, all the AI uh, cyberpunk stuff is. And you can, you can stay in there and walk around and look at all of it, or you can touch the buttons next to, the, um, to each, each painting and you'll go back and forth through the galleries. Which, so kind of, which would be pretty easy to do. Yeah, I think it, might, it wouldn't be that <laughs> difficult, especially after seeing what you guys did in the, with the penthouse in the uh, spatial. Um, that was uh, that was Garrett's handiwork. He's gifted yeah. when it comes to this stuff. But so, how many pieces are we talking? How many pieces would be involved with uh, this gallery? Well, we have thirty. We we just finished thirty last week, so uh, it took us a while, but we we got them all in. Uh, that's you can see quite a few of them on screen right there. But and are the are the images that we're looking at on screen? Are these all? Uh, your images that we're talking about, or are there at, like I recognize the uh, one of the profiles in the center, kind of a gray purple uh, profile image. But are all these yours, or is this a combination of other artists also contributing? Oh uh, no, no, this is all. Um, these are all based off of my oil paintings. Wow. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay, I'll tell you what I. Uh, I think I can comfortably uh, report that, you know, whatever we can do to help you put that gallery together, if you'd like us to, it would be our pleasure. So let's talk a little bit more about that after the show or whenever you have a chance. There are yeah. a lot of different, um, what Matt's talking about, there's a lot of different templates that are either free in the spatial uh, metaverse uh, environments or, or customized uh, templates that we can use to build out beautiful art galleries. And when Matt says he would like classical music playing in the background, there's a certain way he'd like his art displayed. It can all be done. We can do all that. And yeah, I'm excited just hearing you mention that. If there's anything Garrett and I can do, I think we'd like to step up and help you with that. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love it. That would be cool. <laughs> all right. So listen, I don't know if you remember the piece that I, that I purchased from you, but it, I think it, you mentioned it was the second piece that yes. you've done. Uh, tell us a little bit about the story behind that piece, if you don't mind. Yeah. I'm going to uh, see if that, I can find it while you're speaking. Yeah. It's uh, the name of that piece is Becky. Um, yes, that's it. It, it was the, the second oil painting that I did uh, with my mouth. Uh, the first one was a, a, oh, here it is. a portrait of my niece when she was a, a baby, like three months old or something. And, um, it kind of looked like the Gerber, Gerber baby. Uh, but, uh, the second piece I did is this one right here. Uh, yeah. And, you know, it's just simple. I just mixed uh, a base. I, I think I used one paint. It was like a sepia. And I just mixed three values, you know, kind of a darker value, a middle tone, and then a light value. And um, I was looking at my phone at an image on Instagram. I just uh, put that together. And I backed up and I'm like, whoa, this is... It's, it's you know, it's what I wanted it to look like. Um, it jumped, it jumped out at me. I, when I, uh, when I went to your, op do you still have your OpenSea account? I do. Yeah. And what is, what's the, how can people get to it? Is it um, just your name? Yeah. Matt Hendrick Art. Okay. It's pretty much uh, across all the socials. Um, I'll share a link. Of, I'll share yeah. a link, Matt, uh, you know, where, What's happening, everyone, is once we're done with today's live video, it'll be recorded. It'll be available for you to share uh, with someone who might be interested in learning more about Matt's story, who might be interested in 
uh, frankly, purchasing some of Matt's art. I'll share links, Matt, beneath each of the each of the recorded versions of today's live video so that people can click and go to these spaces. But I was cruising through OpenSea. I met you on uh, Spatial in the Metaverse. I saw that piece of work and I'm like, I have to have it, right? And, <laughs> and it's really easy. Uh, excuse me. Sorry about that. That would be my father-in-law. So he does have a super secret number. I got to jump on that. But I'll make these links available to everyone so that you can follow up. Um, you can chat with Matt. You can uh, do you do commissions if somebody wanted you to commit, if they wanted to commission a piece of work. Yeah, absolutely. Like yeah. OK. OK. I can discuss that with people. Because I was thinking what an interesting time where. You approach someone like Matt and you talk to him about what he wants to do or will do. And you commission a piece of art that you can not only hang on your wall or have on your computer or have on your phone, but you can also convert that into an NFT. And yeah. there are just all types of really cool options where you can then, you know, have it in your metaverse conference room or living room. Uh, up on the wall. And, and that's what's really fun about this. Um, I'll tell you what, Matt, I'll include all of your contact information. But if anybody wants to to reach out to you after today's show and uh, and talk about, you know, picking up one of your pieces or having a piece commissioned, what's the easiest way for them to get in touch with you? Um, I would say with my email, uh, it's matt at hendrickmedia.com. And I'm sure you'll have that uh, out there. Absolutely. I will share your email also. And for those of you who appreciate, you know, what's happening here, not only in the metaverse, not only in Web3, but with amazing human beings like Matt, um, this is what Web3 is all about. In my opinion, this is what the metaverse is all about. It's all about relationships and community and shining a bright light on amazing people doing, doing really wonderful things. So Matt, Thanks for coming on today. Really appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Appreciate the kind words. Once again, Matt, we've got comments over on all the major platforms. And uh, if you have a chance, stop by and, and, and feel free to comment back or connect with anybody that's uh, said something positive about today's show. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to take us off the air, but you and I will still be able to communicate here on StreamYard. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Matt, thanks so much for joining us today. I really appreciate yeah. you. Thank you, Matt, for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, pleasure's all mine, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks, everyone. Make it a masterpiece. Bye-bye. <laughs>